here we are today, the Shake Leg film crew looking around the beautiful shores of Biscayne Bay for some to see some examples of this food chain that's going around. Yeah, I think we have enough. I think I can see a couple of crabs and fishes and dolphins eating some of the, some of those fishes. And look at that beautiful seagrass. So much food and so much habitat for little animals and big animals alike. Hmm, I, I think I'm starting to see some wildlife starting to come out here. I can see a little Anthony fish. He's coming out of the seagrass. Yeah, he's looking for a little bit of food. There's all kinds of things he can eat, but he has to be careful because there's Timothy pufferfish around that can eat him in a, oh, in a single second just like that. Oh, the pufferfish got his food for today. Hmm, but he's not so lucky because there's all kinds of preys and predators around. I can see a little Stefan shark just crawling around the corner for looking for his bite and he saw a buffer fish and he's going in for the kill! <laughs> little Stefan got his meal for the day and he swims off. Hmm. Alright, let's see what else we can find. I think I see a little Ciara baby seahorse. Little Ciara mama seahorse coming around here in the little corner. Trying to look for his for, for her food. And trying to keep all her babies alive. She's, she's putting her babies in the seagrass so they have shelters and nothing happens to them. Nobody can get them. They're safe. Alright, they're very safe. But not for long. Because there's barracudas in the area. And there's a little barracuda, Jonathan, that's going for that little seahorse. Oh, where the seahorse go? Oh no, she's trying to get away. Oh, the barracuda is not gonna get. Oh, 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 oh my god, this is a fight of the century between the barracuda and the seahorse. Oh no, but the seahorse got eaten. The barracuda was too quick for her. Hmm. Alright, let's see what else we can find. I think I see a little Richard sea turtle. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, it's trying to get some seagrass, some food in his stomach. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But sea turtles have to be careful around here because there's all kinds of sharks. Yeah, there's the Michael shark. The Michael shark loves to eat Richard sea turtles. I can see him right there looking for his meal. <laughs> He got the sea turtle, he ate both the meat and the seagrass he had in him. Oh my, oh my, Michael, be careful because there's all kinds of things around here. Mm, there's some nice fishes too, I can see an Elijah the manatee coming to eat seagrass too. Yeah, all these herbivores around here, there's still not only carnivores, there's herbivores like Elijah the manatee. He's coming around, and I can see Michael the dove shark coming in, and Stefan the shark too, oh my god, it's a double, oh, it's a double attack, no way, whoa, hmm, alright, I, th I think, I think all of the smaller fish got eaten up by the bigger fish, that's the normal way of the food chain, and we can see it all right here in our beautiful Biscayne Bay shores. This time around in the shores of Biscayne Bay, we are in an area that has been so polluted by human beings and so destroyed by their pretty boats that we have no seagrass at all. Let's see what effect that has on our wildlife in the sea. Hmm, some people think it has nothing to do with anything at all, but look at this pretty little fish. He's looking for food, there's nothing to be found, and he's going hungry. And I see him weak and dying. Oh, sad little fish. But it can't be that way for every fish. Do you think? Let's see the little barracuda. He's trying to get his fish and nothing at all either. Oh no. Let's see who else we can spot. Oh, is that a little mama seahorse that I see? She's looking for the shelter she built for all her little seahorses. Oh, but there's nothing, nothing at all. There's not even food and death again. 
guy. I think I'm starting to see a pattern emerge. Let's see about the sea turtle. Let's see what happens with him. Hmm, looking for seagrass. There's nothing to eat. There's only dead fishes. He can do nothing with dead fishes and he dies too. Yeah, hmm. So, can you see, can you start to see the effects of the seagrass? There's nothing, nothing for no fish to feed themselves. Let's see, let's see this little guy here. He's looking, he's looking, he's smelling, there's nothing, they're all dead. Blah. Same outcome for him. It seems the food chain is being abruptly disrupted. Rapidly. Oh, shark? Is that a shark? Yes, it is a shark. A shark is looking for his fishes. There's nothing. He's sad. He's like, oh, I want my food and I die too. Who else is back there? I know there's all kinds of fishes looking for food in these waters. Come on, fishes, don't be shy. Huh? Huh? Is that the little manatee? Yes, that is the little manatee. Look at him. He's in the same path as the sea turtle, looking for that seagrass. There's no seagrass, and what happens? Same thing. It's a very, very bad graveyard. Another shark. Another shark with nothing to eat. Nothing. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Dun, dun, dun. Now we can see the effects of the seagrass. No seagrass, no life at all anywhere in the sea so please protect our seagrass <laughs>